Twitter verification has led to some serious problems for Elon, but Facebook and Instagram verification are absolutely crushing it for Meta. So what exactly is Elon doing wrong? Well, I'm gonna share all of my insider knowledge on this and why I pay for both Facebook verification and Instagram verification, but I am not paying for Twitter. So the three main benefits of getting the Meta verification right now are priority support, obviously the blue check mark on your profile, and a direct line of communication with their support if you need anything. It's important to note that if you sign up for Meta verification, it's different from Facebook and Instagram. You have to pay for them separately. It's not like a one bundle thing. For me, it made a lot of sense. It might not make sense for, for everybody, but here's why I think it makes sense, at least from my perspective. On Facebook, I have 800,000 followers now. This is an asset of my business. I have more followers on Facebook than I do on any other platform. I can write this off as a business expense. Because of this asset and because of how many people I reach on a monthly basis, I have to protect my asset. The other thing is that so many people every day message me about fake spam accounts. I hate that this happens. There's so many people that are pretending to be me creating Austin Armstrong pages. This is happening on Instagram and on Facebook. And what they're doing is it, it looks like me that some of these profiles even just download my videos and post them on the page. So it really looks authentic. And some of them have even been able to gain tens of thousands of followers, which is crazy. But what's happening is they're private messaging people that follow me and they're trying to scam them, mostly cryptocurrency scans. Hey you, you wanna buy some crypto? And they're like, send me a hundred dollars in, in Bitcoin and I'll ensure you a 10X reward or something like this. Every single day I get these messages and I have to be like, oh, thank you for letting me know, block, report them, I'll do the same. But they just keep popping up, popping up, popping up. And so now, thanks to meta verification, I'm the only person under my profile that can actually get that verification badge because it's identity based. So I had to submit my driver's license. There was a review process. My photo had to match my driver's license and the and the whole whole nine yards to, to verify it there. I hate that this has happened. It's gotten a couple people so far. The other thing that was really annoying about getting verified in the past is you need tier one press, which is ridiculously difficult to get. You need articles from Forbes and Business Insider and BuzzFeed and entrepreneur.com and all all of these crazy things that basically it's impossible to pitch them. It's super expensive if you want to like write like an article that's a sponsored post and that's not guaranteed to get you the press either. You know, having hundreds of thousands to millions of followers is not enough. I've been interviewed on tons of podcasts. I'm a public speaker. I've been featured in some pretty decent online publications and articles, and it still wasn't enough. I have submitted verification requests on Facebook and Instagram for the last year. And so with this verification, this solidifies that I am the authentic version, and it's gonna help prevent scamming on the platforms too. When Meta first announced their paid verification, they also announced that it would increase reach. Now they've taken that back, but I think that's probably going to be something that happens in the future as well, is there's gonna be all sorts of bells and whistles and extra features that come with paying for, for the verification. But I don't necessarily think that this is important for every single person. If you're not a public figure, if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're not a content creator, you don't have a large following online, you probably don't need to pay for this verification. It's a little pricey. It's $14.99 a month for each platform, Facebook and Instagram, you have to pay for both. But I do think that this is a slippery slope here that could cause a, a rift in social media as we know it. What's going to happen now is it's going to completely devalue check marks, authentic earned check marks of the past. Anybody that's had a, a check mark in the past, it really is not relevant anymore. It used to be a status symbol if you had that blue check mark, but now anybody can essentially get it if you pay for this, right? And so what does that do? It separates the people that can't afford to pay it, that shouldn't pay it from people that just want that clout. And if they do increase organic reach eventually with the verification on there, then it could cause a, another separation of organic versus paid strategy. If you remember back to the Facebook ad apocalypse when organic growth on Facebook just went right in the shit, it pissed a lot of people 
people off because it became pay to play. Overnight, people who had tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of followers on Facebook lost their organic reach. They were not able to reach the people that they've earned that followership with. Now, in this last year, organic Facebook reach has, in my opinion, never been better. I've literally gained 800,000 followers in the last nine months. Thanks to Facebook Reels, text and image quotes that are sort of like motivational. I'll talk about that strategy in another video if you want. The organic reach has been astronomical on Facebook this past year. And so I'm worried about this verification that if they add that as a feature, those that don't have it are not going to have the same opportunities that those that are able to pay for it has. And I think that's a that's a slippery slope and a potential issue for a historically free platform that's given us the ability to grow our influence and change our, our lives just by simply creating content. So if you're interested in signing up for the meta verification for Facebook or Instagram, I have the link to that in the description of this video for you. It's very simple process. You link whatever account that you want. You submit your identification on there. You have to have a really clear picture of your face on uh, on your profile as well. So I had an AI image as my profile picture at first. And so when I submitted my ID, it didn't recognize the two. So it actually denied me. So I had to, to change my profile picture and reapply with the, the verification process. And then it approved me. And then another thing that I learned afterwards is you cannot change your profile picture after you submit the verification. So be careful what profile image you select. So in, in order to change your profile picture and still be verified, you need to cancel your verification, change your profile picture, and then reapply for verification, which seems super wonky. And I hope they fix that in the future. All in all, the process took like 20 minutes of, of submitting. The review process was very fast. I was, sub I was approved on Facebook literally in, in 20 minutes and the verification came on instantly. Now I have that magical blue check mark next to my name that I've been trying to get for years. But let me know what your thoughts are. Would you sign up for meta verification? Do you think it makes sense for you with the existing perks? Is it worth $14.99 a month per platform for you to sign up right now?